Hi there, Graham here with part two of our 1906 CC crossflow build. So as we spoke about in the last video, in order to clearance everything go round, we just removed a little bit of material from the rods. Unfortunately, that was enough that in the block, we only had to grind two places, number one and number four, opposite the camshaft to allow the crank to rotate. Unfortunately, it still hit the cam, so we had to grind the cam as well. And we've just thinned the camshaft down. Fat. Thin. I could have put the cam in a lathe and just turned it down small all the way round, but I felt just to thin it in two places left more metal in the core, saved weakening it. So now we've got a crank that turns and a cam, and I've tested it installed with the Vernier full advanced, full retarded, so we know the comrades will now always miss the cam. So at this point, we moved on to the head. Head. To start with, the first issue of the valves. You can't see it on camera, but they've got some sharp edges there. Standard triple grooved retainer. It all goes together like that. The valve spring under there. Now the triple cotters are great because they allow the valve to rotate while it's going up and down. That keeps the valve seat clean and healthy. So it's good for giving a long mechanical life to the valve seat. But in high RPM engines, an engine with stiff valve springs, it creates a problem. The ring grooves wear. So not only can we move the valve up and down, we can considerably jiggle it around. Let me show you in another angle. There's just one half. That movement shouldn't be there. So unfortunately, the valve's a scrap. But alas, we also have a problem with the head. Crossflow heads are prone to cracking because there's not much material between the valve seats. So unfortunately, the head is cracked here and here, probably partly as a result of it's got unleaded inserts in there, which is a hard insert they put in the head. And to fit them, you bore a hole and then you hammer or press in an insert, which pushes away at the head. And because there's very little material there, they're prone to cracking. So sadly, there's no repair we can do to that to make it proper safe. Theoretically, we could bore it and put an insert in the inlet as well, but then you've got two inserts in next to each other. The risk of them one coming out is relatively high, so it's, it's not worth risking thousands of pounds worth of engine just to save a head that's now a uh, doorstep, unfortunately. We've talked about clearance in the block, so I just thought I'd give you an idea as to just how tight things are and how much things need to be squeezed in to get this lot into a standard block. Because this is one of the con rods with a standard piston attached. Now normally, the crankshaft at top dead centre, the piston will be a little bit down the bore. This won't be. This gives you a clue how much we have to reduce the height of the pistons to get them in the block, which also Gives you an idea why everything's such a tight fit. That's almost it for the update for the moment. I've come to you with more problems than the solutions. So tune in next time and maybe I'll have some answers. You know what to do guys. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Catch you on the flip side.